Hello and welcome to another episode of Kim Smith's Kitchen. Before I start, I would like to thank you all for watching the previous episode and also I'd like to thank you for all the lovely um, feedback and comments you sent me. Thanks, very nice. Um, we are in my kitchen, as you can tell. Uh, the kitchen, the ideal place for cooking I love working here. I come here often with my guitar uh, to write uh, songs, to just jam a bit and, and work on ideas. There is the pepper, the salt, the basil plant, all the things you need for cooking. And today's ingredients are a lament, or actually two lamentos. Um, also, I use a little bit of a piece composed by Arvo Pert um, and uh, the third ingredient is an EDM song from the mid 90s. So let's get started. Um, during the second lockdown of the pandemic, uh, so early 2021, I worked here a lot. I was sitting on this stool just playing my guitar working on ideas and um, one thing I wanted to do was to write a lament. A lament is a piece of music in which you express grief, sorrow, things like that. And I was sitting here thinking I want to compose a piece to commemorate all the people who lost their lives during the pandemic. Um, so uh, I turned to um, two of my colleagues, Claudio Monteverdi and Henry Perso. They both composed uh, beautiful lamentos. Um, and I was, yeah, kind of um, playing through them a bit and, and yeah, trying to, to get some inspiration. I will um, put a link in the description box or comment section below so you can find uh, these two pieces, they are beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, Claudio Monteverdi's Lamento della Nympha and Henry Purcell's uh, Dido's Lament. Um, and the thing that characterizes these pieces is their descending bass line. So for example, in Monteverdi's piece, you have a very basic uh, bass pattern that, that goes like this. Sorry there. Or just... So I was playing through that a bit and also uh, I turned towards the uh, Dido's Lament uh, by Henry Purcell which is slightly different, it has a chromatic bass line so instead of uh, he also plays the notes in between or at least some of them so you get something like so forth it's it's I it's one of the most beautiful pieces ever composed so please check it out there is a link in the description box below um, a, a performance that I love uh, Simona Kermis is singing and I think it's the most wonderful recording of this piece check it out um, I was sitting here and I was thinking what can I what can I do how can I create a lament um, where do I start? Of course, I wanted to use the descending bass line because it's so characteristic. 
Um, I had another piece in mind, uh, or another piece that I was thinking of, and it's a, it's a composition uh, created by Arvo Pert, the Estonian composer. Um, and it's a piece called Da Pacem Domine. And uh, during my time uh, at conservatory, uh, there was one lesson in which we, we, we kind of studied this piece. And, and my teacher, he pointed out that um, one of the things that characterizes this composition is its pedal tone. Now, a pedal tone is a tone that you hear like throughout a piece or section of a composition. And in this case, it's the upper voice. So this piece, it's a um, choir piece originally, um, and it's composed to, um, uh, well, Arvo Pert started composing this piece uh, right after the Madrid, Madrid bombings in 2004. So it's a piece to commemorate the, the dead, uh, the, the, the people who died uh, during that attack. And it's, it was commissioned by Jordi Saval. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, piece. And so the thing I remembered was my teacher saying like this pedal tone, it sounds as though you can hear like the church bells ringing. So when there is like a service to commemorate the dead, um, you will always hear the church bells like ringing uh, over over town. And he said, I don't know if this is the intention of the composer or if this was the intention of the composer, but something my, my teacher said, well, it might be like the church bells ringing and you can hear it in the upper voice and I will also put a link in the description box and that will guide you to this piece which is beautiful and you will see uh, I think there is a YouTube video that also shows the score there is this like steady um, note throughout the piece in the upper voice so I was sitting here and I was thinking how can I combine these elements so we have the um, descending bass line and the pedal tone and I was just sitting here in my kitchen jamming and out came this uh, this this bit of music From, from the other lamentos, it's like it goes like this. Stays there, then goes there, and then you have the pedal tone, the open E string. What's sorry for this? sounds very familiar that's that's wait a second that's hardcore vibes from the German EDM group Dune hardcore vibes um, so I was like, whoa, that's crazy. They've got like this like lamento thing going on with their chords and it's like, uh, what the fuck? Anyway, I was happily surprised. And 
Um, as a child of the 90s, I used to hear this song a lot growing, growing up, and I, I would love it. I still love this song. Um, it was very popular here in the Netherlands. It's a song that was released in uh, 1995, if I'm correct, um, by the German EDM group Dune, Hardcore Vibes. So I was like, whoa, yeah, all right. So now we're on to something. So this is when I started creating, of course. I checked out the song and I uh, loved it. Also, the video clip is wonderful. Also, I will put a link in the description box below so you can check it out yourself. But this is where, when I started creating, because then we had like the Baroque influences and then there was this like EDM uh, piece, hardcore vibes. And um, the thing that really got me going was the first lyric in, in their song. So when you listen to this song, at some point there is a child, I think it's a child, saying, this one is dedicated to all the ravers in the nation. This one is dedicated to all the ravers in the nation. Now, of course, it was during the lockdown and all that. So people were actually raving um, here in the Netherlands. They were actually raving between the dunes. So full circle there. Um, and I thought, ah, oh, cool, that lyric. Um, you know, I also wanted to, to create something uh, that like a piece of praise like for all the people working on the front line. So when I heard that line, I thought, this one is dedicated to all the saviors in the nation. Now, I didn't use that line, uh, but I thought it was funny and interesting, and it kind of kick-started the whole lyric writing process. So, so all the lyrics in this song are kind of based on this first line, this one is dedicated to all the ravers, saviors uh, in the nation. And I won't explain um, the lyrics any further because I think that's lame and they're pretty straightforward. So you can you can check them out yourself. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to say that this this little element kind of yeah opened up um, yeah this whole composition in a way because because it gave me the first um, yeah spark let's say to to start working on on lyrics lyrics to both uh, commemorate uh, the people who who passed away also to capture the mood the grief uh, the sorrow the, the the anger that was there of course uh, but also to praise um, to 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 create something dedicated to all those people working on the front lines and people in communities doing great work and all that. So this is where I started, uh, yeah, writing down. And out came this song, Quarantine Vibes. It's the first song on my new album, Talking Troposphere. Check it out. I'm just gonna play you um, uh, just, a, a, let's say half the song. Um, the recording is much nicer because I play the song together with my band. The, the album is like, it's a full ensemble and it sounds great. So um, I would advise you to, to, to listen to the full song on, on, on Bandcamp or whatever. But I'm just gonna play you, um, uh, let's say, the, the, the first half of the song. Um, yeah, apart from the Lamentos and the EDM and the Arvo Pert ingredients, I think this song also, especially the recording, you will hear that there is a dash of Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Leonard Cohen, uh, you'll hear it, like the choir uh, voices in the back, the whole sound production that's there. Um, so so a, a dash of that as well. And it goes like this. Slow. 
As you will hear in the recording, I stretched the Dune melody a bit and turned it into the Quarantine Vimes melody. Of course, Quarantine Vimes very much based on Hardcore Vimes by Dune, uh, with some uh, Baroque elements, a dash of Nick Cave in the bad scenes, I think especially Push the Sky Away and Skeleton Tree, those two albums. and in particular those two songs. Um, Production-wise, they're very much there. Talking about production, this album, Troposphere, Talking Troposphere, was recorded by Jelle Hasma, by Bright, he's, um, sorry, Jelle Hasma, the producer of this album. He's got a studio called Paritzel Studio, and the album was released on his label, Brighter Records. Big thank you to Jelle, who also uh, happens to be a great songwriter um, and he is working under the name Yelephant, Yelephant and the Phantoms and if I'm correct he released a new album yesterday. Check it out, he's amazing and he did a great job on uh, the Kinsmith album, Talking Troposphere. It's a beautiful production and he put a lot of love, skill, patience and effort into creating this uh, body of work and not only him also my bandmates uh, on bass there is Minas Vakaludis uh, violin and vocals uh, Juliana Han um, vocals Mirta Burstma uh, guitar electric guitar uh, Pericles Macris and on drums there is uh, Ray Murphy and I would really like to thank them because they did such a wonderful job creating these songs uh, helping me to create this body of work. So there's a link in the description box below. Please check it out. Uh, if you like the music, please consider buying the album. It really uh, helps me to, to, to make a living uh, as an artist. Um, if you like this video, please uh, give it a like, um, share it with a friend. Um, also, you can, of course, follow me on the socials. Um, if you like to support me, you can also visit the Patreon page. Um, I will put links in the description box below. Uh, please check out all the pieces I mentioned, all the musicians, producers I mentioned in this video. They all are amazing and there is a lot of inspiration to be found in this uh, yeah, list of uh, things I mentioned, I guess. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, till next time. Bye.